How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So some of you guys have been questioning the usability of ExpressVPN and whether or not it's really easy to use. Now, in my opinion, this is the easiest VPN to use on the market. It can be used by your grandma. You can use it on your iPad and your laptop and the smart TV. It's compatible with most devices and using it is as simple as clicking this on off button right here. It's as simple as that. So let's say you wanna be a little bit more selective when it comes to the servers because of course, you need to be if you're trying to access specific content. All you need to do is go to locations and select the right server. You've got the recommended servers right here and you can favorite your favorite servers by just clicking the star next to it. And they're all listed by continent right here. And you can just select the one you want. Let's say I wanna to connect to Dallas. I can select it right here and then click the on and off button or just double click Dallas and it will connect to me automatically. And it's as simple as that. It's a very intuitive design and there's nothing complicated about it. Let's say you wanna to go to the options to just understand what's going on here. You can even teach your parents or grandparents how to use this. So you can turn on the kill switch if you want your internet access to completely get cut if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly to make sure that there are no accidental leaks or anything like that. So basically this is gonna make sure that your internet is going to be cut off if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that no IP leaks ever happen. So this is a very useful tool. It's ExpressVPN's kill switch, and sometimes it's called the network lock. Split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. Now, this is probably a feature that a lot of people will not use, but it's very useful if you just set it up. And in case you, let's say, don't want your entire device to be affected by the VPN, and you want only a handful of applications to be affected by the VPN, leaving the rest of your connection outside the VPN tunnel, you can do that and vice versa. But again, it's not super necessary unless you have a reason to do it. And with regards to protocols, I would just recommend keeping it on automatic, especially if you're giving it to somebody that can't really operate a VPN or someone who doesn't know anything about operating VPNs. You can keep it on automatic. Otherwise, Lightway is going to be your fastest and most reliable option. And that's what I personally use. And that's basically it. Now you can just connect to ExpressVPN. Let's say I wanna turn it on and connect to the Dallas server because I wanna access some kind of American service or an American streaming service. If I go to any IP finder, you'll notice that it says I'm in Dallas. Not because I'm in Dallas physically, but because I'm connected to the Dallas server. Then I can go straight to France. If I wanna access some French content, refresh the IP finder and now it will say I'm in France. It's as simple as that. Basically, I would say ExpressVPN is the best VPN if you're looking for an incredibly easy to use VPN that is super reliable and consistent when it comes to accessing streaming services, protecting you while you're on public Wi-Fi or when you're torrenting. And if you're looking for something that's also incredibly strict when it comes to user data and privacy, ExpressVPN arguably has the best privacy policy in the business because they make sure that they do not collect any user information whatsoever, no matter the situation. And this is one of the reasons why I like to recommend ExpressVPN to everybody, not just beginners. So that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find an exclusive discount down below. And the full review will also be linked in case you'd like to learn a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security features. And of course, all the plans are covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. Just in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason, you can still get that refund. Granted, you have to ask for it before the 30th day, so just mark your calendar in case you want a refund. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos, and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.